Now to our local election coverage. We've taken a look at the race for mayor in La Quinta. This time, our Jonathan Oaxaca shows us the candidates for city council. A total of three candidates are running for La Quinta City Council for two of its open seats. Fitzpatrick was elected in 2016 and has focused on development projects like the Civil Rock Resort. Moving forward, she hopes to work on a solution to short-term rental programs. It's going to be really, really important to me to make sure that we can maintain our neighborhoods in the city of La Quinta. We need a clear vision on what we see this city to be, and then we need to be able to enact a, a short-term rental program that meets or exceeds those needs. Marine veteran Steven Sanchez is also looking for a second term. His main priority is to keep businesses open, even after the huge economic impact of COVID-19. It's tragic anytime any business closes, right? Uh, but it's always harder to get new businesses than it is to retain businesses. So, you know, we can, we're trying to do everything we can uh, to retain the businesses that we have here in the city. Uh, because nobody wants to see uh, any business fail or have uh, any vacancies. Newcomer Richard Gary is the third candidate for the city council. He has been active in La Quinta as part of the Architect and Landscape Review Committee. One of his major focus is to design a safety plan for pedestrians and drivers next to Adams Park. Neighbors here have a hard time crossing this street because there's a lot of traffic and some people don't pay any attention to the so-called 25 mile an hour speed limit here. Our idea to the city was to put in crosswalks. Jonathan Oaxaca, NBC Palm Springs.